Are you looking for an alternative livestock feed that is both high in protein and cost effective? If so, Azola might be the plant for you. What is Azola, you might ask? Azola is sometimes called duckweed or mosquito fern. It is a free-floating aquatic plant which means that it grows on the surface of water, while its stems float underneath. Some other fun things that Azola can be used for include water purification, helping with sore throats, and it can even be eaten by humans, typically in the form of soup. What are the benefits of using Azola, you might ask? Other than its high protein content, Azola is also a sufficient source of macro and micronutrients and many essential amino acids. Additionally, growing Azola will also save the average farmer around 20 to 25% compared to commercial animal feed. Lastly, once Azola plots are installed, high yields can be harvested daily meaning that animals can be kept well-fed with minimal effort. Now you may be asking, how can I grow Azola? The first step is to gather your supplies. You will need a shovel or something to dig with, a plastic tarp, bricks or something heavy that you can secure the tarp with, lots of water, a sieve for harvesting, and a Zola culture. After you've gathered your supplies, you can start building the pit, which is step one. Dig a pit that's roughly two meters by two meters in a partially shaded area. Ensure that a depth of around 10 centimeters will be available once you add the water so the Azola can float freely. Then cover the pit with a plastic tarp and secure the edges. The second step is to fill the pit with water, soil, and a slurry containing superphosphate, cow dung, and more water. Then you can add your Azola culture. Step three involves waiting patiently and maintaining the pit for around 10 to 15 days before step four, harvest. After the initial 10 to 15 days, Azola can be harvested daily using a sieve. Just make sure to wash the Azola thoroughly before feeding to your animals. Here are some things to keep in mind before you start your planting journey. Azola should be grown in temperatures that range from around 20 to 30 degrees Celsius, meaning it does not do well in extremely hot or cold environments. Azola needs lots of water, and maintaining an Azola pit requires water to be replaced regularly, which can be challenging in dry seasons. Lastly, because Azola has a high moisture content, it can be difficult to store, meaning that pits must be maintained all year round. For more information on Azola farming, please check out the links we have posted below. Happy farming!